Hey lovely moms to be. Today we're going to explore the incredible journey of pregnancy from conception to the first trimester. Let's dive right in. Before we begin this video, here's a little disclaimer to say that I'm a mom of two and the information I share in this video is based off of my personal experience and also my research. Always consult your healthcare provider throughout your pregnancy journey. You might be wondering what conception is. Conception is the moment when a sperm meets an egg and this typically occurs during ovulation. This happens when your ovaries release an egg into the fallopian tube. When a sperm fertilizes that egg, it forms a zygote, kickstarting the remarkable journey of pregnancy. A human being is formed during conception. This is as a result of the genes from the mom and dad combining to form a unique genetic code that determines the sex, eye color, hair color, as well as other characteristics. In those early days, you might not even realize that you're pregnant, but then some subtle signs might start appearing like a missed period, nausea or morning sickness. You may even have a strong sense of smell. You may have mood swings, tender swollen breasts, vivid dreams, constipation, mild stomach cramps, cravings or disliking certain foods, weight loss or weight gain, feeling tired, you may pee frequently, you may have all of these symptoms or a few of them or even none of them at all. Around 6 to 12 days after conception, the fertilized egg implants itself into the lining of the uterus. This is when your body begins producing HCG hormones detected by pregnancy tests. With all of that said, here are some tips to help you navigate the first trimester. Always check with your healthcare provider and attend antenatal appointments during your pregnancy. Be sure to check that any medication you're taking is safe for pregnancy it's recommended while you're trying to get pregnant and in the first 12 weeks of pregnancy to take folic acid as well as prenatal vitamins as early as possible. You can also stay active during your pregnancy and avoid exercises that are strenuous or that require you lying on your tummy or back or even doing deep twists. Always check with your healthcare provider before you start any fitness exercise. If you experience spotting during your first trimester, that could be implantation bleeding and nothing to worry about. However, if you experience heavy bleeding during your first trimester, do call your doctor. Cut out any alcohol, smoking or recreational drugs as those can harm your baby. It's safe to consume two small coffees or three teas a day, but check with your doctor about this. Ginger teas are good and they can help reduce your feeling of nausea or morning sickness so you can feel better during your pregnancy. You should also avoid changing cat poo, but if you can't delegate this task to someone else, be sure to wear gloves and wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Always stay hydrated during pregnancy and drink lots of water. Also, you should check to see if your cleaning products are safe for pregnant women or switch to eco-friendly cleaning products. If you do not know how many weeks pregnant you are, a dating ultrasound can help you check your actual due date and how many weeks pregnant you are. Now let's dive into the first trimester itself. Weeks 1 to 12 are filled with significant changes to your body. During this trimester, your baby is growing faster than any other time of your pregnancy. You might be experiencing a whirlwind of emotions right now, feeling anxious or excited. Whatever you're feeling, it is perfectly normal. Signs like a missed period morning sickness or fatigue might have prompted you to take that pregnancy test and when you saw that positive result 
I know the emotions running through you must have been overwhelming. Now let's talk about some of the physical changes you might be noticing. Your breast might feel tender or even swollen and those frequent trips to the bathroom, they're totally normal. This is as a result of your hormones and of course, the increase in your water consumption. Morning sickness, or let's face it, all day sickness can be tough. I've been there and I know how it feels. Small frequent meals and sipping ginger tea might just become your new best friends. But remember, if it's severe, don't hesitate to seek advice from your healthcare provider. Ladies, those mood swings are no joke. The tears, the laughter, it's all part of the ride. Make sure you communicate with your partner and seek support. Now let's talk about the importance of those prenatal visits and tests. They are crucial for ensuring the health of yourself and your baby. So do not miss any of them and don't forget those vitamins and a healthy diet. They are your pregnancy superheroes. And if during this period you're feeling more tired than ever before, that is perfectly normal. Your body is working overtime to create a miracle. Yes, a literal miracle. So listen to your body, rest whenever you can, and don't be afraid to ask for help. Things like gentle exercises and relaxation techniques can work wonders for both your body and your mind. Here are foods to avoid during the first trimester. Raw or undercooked meats, poultry, seafood, and eggs can harbor harmful bacteria like salmonella, E. coli, and listeria, which can lead to food poisoning. Ensure your meats are cooked thoroughly to avoid any bacteria. Unpasteurized milk, cheese, and other dairy products can contain harmful bacteria like listeria, which can pose risk to both baby and mother. Opt for pasteurized versions that have been treated to eliminate pathogens. Some fish may contain high levels of mercury, which can affect the baby's developing nervous system. Avoid fish high in mercury, such as shark, swordfish, king mackerel, and towelfish. Opt for low mercury options like salmon, shrimp, and light tuna in moderation. Fruits and vegetables should be thoroughly washed to remove any potential dirt or bacteria. This helps to reduce the risk of foodborne illnesses. High caffeine intake has been associated with increased risk of miscarriages, while alcohol consumption can lead to birth defects and developmental issues. Minimize intake of processed foods high in sugar, unhealthy fats and additives. Focus on a balanced diet with nutrient-dense foods. Now these are the foods to eat during the first trimester. Incorporate a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables. They are rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, crucial for fetal development. Leafy greens, berries, citrus fruits, carrots, and sweet potatoes are excellent choices. Opt for whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, oats, and whole wheat bread. These provide fiber essential B vitamins and minerals. Include lean sources of protein such as poultry, fish low in mercury, tofu, beans, lentils and nuts. Protein is essential for baby's growth and development. Choose calcium rich foods like low fat dairy products if tolerated or fortified plant-based alternatives such as almond or soy milk. These support bone development and help maintain calcium levels. Incorporate sources of healthy fats like avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil. These provide omega-3 fatty acids crucial for the baby's brain and eye development. Consume iron-rich foods such as lean red meat, poultry, lentils, spinach, and fortified cereals. Iron supports the increased blood supply required during pregnancy. Congratulations for getting pregnant and I wish you all the best in your pregnancy journey. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel.
I'll see you in the next one. Have a safe pregnancy. But I went